okay so in this video we will see how we can update a dictionary i have taken an example of dictionary which is having these items and these items are like first one is the key and the corresponding value is the blue here and this will go on you have already seen how we can create a dictionary in the previous video so let's start how we can update so first you have to mention the name of the dictionary and then use the function update right and inside the update you just pass the value uh, in the curly brackets so in the curly brackets we will enter the values like uh, for example i want to enter a new key color and the corresponding value is uh, you can say blue right so this is the new item i have added so blue is the value which is a string and uh, also the key is also a string so both are inside the quotes so even i can here add one more value let's say dot update so this time i want to enter a new value like uh, year one and the corresponding value is uh, 2020 let's change this 2021 okay so as you can see the value is the integer value here so we are not putting it inside the queues right okay so two values are added into the dictionary one so let's check whether uh, the dictionary one is updated or not so we will use the print command and inside print we are going to pass the dictionary one okay so let's run this okay so the spelling mistake is here it should be p okay so run this again okay so color and year one so the color is blue and year one 2021 both are added inside it so let's remove it uh, to remove what we can do is We'll write the name of the dictionary dot pop and inside the pop you have to mention the key note the value just the key means for example here color is a key and blue is a value and year one is a key and 2021 is a value so let's say i want to delete this color okay so after this i want to print dictionary one again okay so run this again okay so when we updated uh, there were two values added year one and color which are added here and then i popped one value color so color is not here but the year one is still here because we have not removed it and in case if uh, i want any item to be removed randomly for that you have to use a new function which is pop item okay so pop item will remove any item randomly which are existing here so run this again okay so here we mention the key color so for the color color is uh, removed right but for the second time let's remove this part mm, let's say i just remove this part so two values are added here and year one and color and then i'm just let's not print it again and again and now i'm printing it once and then after popping a random item i'm going to print it again right okay so first we were having a dictionary one and then we added two items and then printed it and then pop a random item okay let's see what's gonna happen so two items here and color are added and then i printed it so all the values are here and for the second statement what i have done is i just popped a random item so let's check what is removed here uh, year one is removed which is random i have not mentioned the key okay 
okay so what else we can do is by using the del keyword by del keyword you have to mention the dictionary and inside this you have to mention the keyword key you can say for example now I just want to remove the color okay so just remove this part okay so first it will be having the updated dictionary and then I want to delete this particular key and then print dictionary again okay so now let's check this okay so first updated values are here and then I just remove the color by using the del keyword so the color is removed right color is not here color is here because it was added so there is one more thing what we can do is we just remove the whole dictionary okay well, del keyword can remove the whole dictionary or you can say the structure also okay so now it is going to remove so let's if I want to print this dictionary it will show you the error because it will not be existing dictionary one is not defined because it is removed okay okay so there is one more thing what we can do is we can use the clear keyword uh, clear function to remove any particular key so first we have to mention the dictionary name and then clear what this clear will do it will remove all the values means these pairs key and the values pair and but the structure will stay the same means dictionary one will stay but all the values will be deleted so it will not show you the error if you try to print dictionary one because it still exists but the values are not there okay so for the first print all the updated values are printed and then I just cleared it and then print dictionary one the it will show you the empty dictionary it is not having any value okay okay